Oktoberfest at the Jackson Zoo is happening. Why do you encourage folks to take a trip, a trip over there? Because I need them to come see the new train. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mainly. But we're having Oktoberfest Saturday from uh, 10 to 4. We have our local entertainment. We have uh, Mr. Bobby C., saxophonist. We have a high schooler, Christian Big Mooney, uh, from Brandon High School. He's an R&B and rapper. And we have Vay from last year from Zuchilla, and we're bringing her back. And I just wanted everyone in oh, light of entertainment. Mm -hmm. And she's an impersonator. Uh, and she's getting a lot of traction around here in Jackson. So I wanted to shine light on our local entertainment and bring attention to our Jackson Zoo. You know, our capital need our zoo. Not only do we need the state and city, but the, it needs its community. You know, uh, the zoo can't go on without the visitors. Right. And we need them to come and see what we got going forward mm -hmm. and um, what we have now. We do have new animals, and the zoo have animals. <laughs> and the zoo is open and hiring. So I wanted to to invite everyone out. I gave out 500 tickets for uh, Oktoberfest to all of the scholars, the kindergartens, the pre-K of JPS. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to let them know that uh, Zoom can stay right where it is. Okay. And uh, we want to let them know that Livingston Park is still there. We had a competition earlier this year in June uh, with uh, fish for the children. So they came out, catch and release, and it was awesome. Livingston Park and the Jackson Zoo is doing great. We've made great strides. I'm with uh, ZAP, which is a nonprofit group. Uh, we're like ambassadors for the zoo. They, uh, we have we support everything that the zoo is about, and we want to continue going forward building our Jackson Zoo. You know. Hearsay is that, but to come and go into the zoo and see what's going on and what we're doing. We're doing a little at a time, but it's happening. See, now you said visitors earlier, and I want to know for the visitors that are watching at home, just in case they decide to go, do they need to get tickets now or can they get tickets at the door? They can get tickets at the door, and we take cars now. Okay. So we're happy about that, and that was a big issue, too. But we got that did. See how we jumped that hurdle? <laughs> uh, so we take cars, and they have online. All right, so, so. tell me, about some other things that you said music already but are there going to be some something else for the kids other than train rides what else going on for adults we had a carousel we had a, a carousel we have the vendors and uh food vendors and clothing vendors and you know different little retail vendors and paparazzi so it's a lot of things to do and taking the walk in the trail we have livingston park also directly across the street which has a nature trail we have our own natural lake and a train. We have a brand new train. So, you know, a lot of kids haven't even read, you know, rode the train at the zoo. And we need to get our kids back um, involved in nature and not for cell phones. <laughs> YouTube. All right. So, again, that's happening tomorrow from what time to what time? It's tomorrow from 10, the doors open at 10, mm -hmm. from 10 to 4. We have live entertainment, space jumps, carousel rides, uh, you know, animals to go see. We have new animals to go see. We have a flamingo. And in the future, we're going to be raising money for a new exhibit for that. See what I'm saying? So we need all of the, the uh, my, our Jacksonians, our visitors to come through the door. They don't have to drive far. Just come to the door. General admission is $10, $5 for kids, and two and under is free. 